Hey folks, your car guy here. Today we have a 2005 Jeep Liberty. The right rear brake light is not working. I'm gonna show you how to check this and, and repair it. Now, the first thing we don't wanna do is assume that automatically it's a bulb. Quite often you can either have a loose connection or something else going on. So we'll open up in order to get access to the two screws that mount the tail light housing. We're gonna remove those with our Torx driver. The Torx driver is a T20 in order to remove these screws. So we're simply gonna pull out the two screws. Nothing serious. Make sure when you get them out, set them in a place where you're gonna be able to find them so you don't lose them while you're working. Nothing's more frustrating than going to put something back together and realizing I don't know where my screws, nuts, bolts, whatever it is are. So I find it's always nice to either have a little box or, um, a cup, something to put them in, or to just simply put them in a place where they're not gonna accidentally get knocked off and roll away. Okay, next, once you've done that, the taillight housing will pull away. Now it has some pins that are on the inside uh, that hold it in as well. So it takes a little bit to pull it away from the body and you wanna pull straight out. All right, you'll see these two pinholes here. They have the corresponding pins. So you're not pulling away to the side, you're pulling straight back. Now, if we look at this, our brake light is a dual filament bulb in this top part of the housing. We simply turn the cap counterclockwise and lift it out. Now we can look at our bulb. Now I call it a dual filament bulb for a reason. There are two filaments inside this bulb. Let's see if we can get the camera to pick it up. With a dual filament bulb, you'll have, see that top filament and the bottom filament? One of them is for the tail light, the other is for the brake light. Now, I see something else that I see a problem right off. Right here, I see a connection that's burned because the way that connects is there are connections on this housing right here. One's a ground, one's the tail light, one's the brake light that burn connection can quite likely be our issue. Now, in this case, you could either replace the entire housing or take and clean up the connection and make sure it's getting a good solid connection. Both the filaments of this bulb appear to be intact. When you see one that's broken, not making full connections side to side, that usually means that that's bad. But in this case, I think this bulb is fine and we're just simply gonna have to clean up our connections. So you get a little file, or a piece of sandpaper, clean off what's the burn part, and then make sure you pull things up to get a good firm connection. Okay, now to remove the electrical wiring so we can take this housing, put it on a bench and work on it, there's a little red lock tab that you'll see right there. It goes and it locks the electrical connector so that you can't just slide it apart. Easy way to get that out is to take a screwdriver on this end and simply pull it up to the side. So well, you see there's the high edge here. You can simply pry that out to the side and that'll open up that electrical. All right, there's that electrical connector pulled up. Next, you're simply gonna press down on this tab right here. You'll press on it, press it, and you'll be able to pull out the electrical connection. It may take a little wiggling, but it'll come out. With your electrical connector out, you're gonna have a little push pin that holds the wiring onto here. You can simply pull that out by pulling on each side gently in order to get that pin up out of the housing. So you just pull gently, rock side to side. Uh, don't get in too big of a hurry or you'll break this off, that little plastic nub. Now you can take the housing and move it to where it's easy to work. All right, with the housing out and into a good spot to work, I'm gonna take my file and I'm gonna clean up this electrical connection that's obviously been burned and hot. Um, you can see it's actually got a hole burned in it. So at some point this housing is gonna need to be replaced, but at least for right now I can get this working by cleaning this up and making a good electrical connection. With our connection cleaned up, I'm now gonna reinstall the socket. I've also cleaned up the pin on the socket. 
got it nice and shiny again see the top of that shiny and then we'll plug this in and test it okay so we've got an assistant in the vehicle go ahead and press the brake pedal hey look our brake light works go ahead and let up there we go we've tested it now we can reinstall it okay remember we're just going to slide these pins back into their sockets on this side just press that light forward you'll hear it kind of snap in then all you've got to do is reinstall your two screws and you're done this is your car guy here hope you've enjoyed this video if you like it please share it and please subscribe to the channel help us grow